Well, today is a throwback Thursday here in Kentucky. I'm checking out of my hotel. It's early in the morning, but I think I'm going to go have some breakfast first and then uh, get the truck loaded and we'll be off to Texas, hopefully. Nothing like a good hearty breakfast. Now we got to get out of this place and uh, get the truck loaded and everything. It's always the part that I love, loading that truck. Oh, that's just great. It's raining. Well, it could be worse. It could be snowing. Now that's what I like to see. I got a full 70 hour clock to run on. So that, that's great. That means I'm no... I don't have to worry about hours for a while. All right, well, we're getting out of here. I had a couple days off here. I always like staying at Choice Hotels. You know, we all have our favorite places we like to stay, and Choice Hotels They always just offer a little bit more than the other guys. And they don't you don't have to stay at their fanciest hotel. They have like low-end hotels like Econo Lodge. And all the way up to the comfort suites and stuff. And they're nice hotel. There's a lot of construction around here, so I have to go get out of here a different way that I don't know how to go, so. Who better to have with me than you guys to get lost with? Now, I, I got my Rand McNally. I sound like a commercial this morning. <laughs> I got my Rand McNally GPS with me and I never get lost. 900 feet. Make a right turn. That's actually true. Make a right turn. I don't think I've been lost in a long time that I can remember. In 600 feet, make a right turn and then make a right turn. I'm sorry, babe. I ain't going that way because of the construction. See, she doesn't know about that. It's uh, really storming over there. I don't really like bobtailing in the rain, but it's it's not that big of a deal today. Now, if it's pooling water, that's a different that's a different story. tell you what we're gonna do. I dropped off at a place the other day. We're gonna go there, pick up my empty. Hopefully it will be there. In 700 feet, make a right turn. Then we're gonna go over and pick up a load going to Texas. In Bowling Green, Kentucky. So I got my empty now. We're gonna go pick up something now. Don't tell anybody. We're gonna go pick up underwear. I don't remember hauling underwear. In one I've, half mile, make a right turn. I've hauled a lot of socks and blue jeans and regular clothes, but I don't remember hauling underwear. today. So 
I got my empty. We're hauling, but then we're going over to Bowling Green to pick up underwear. All right, well, we got a door. And, uh, Hopefully it won't be one of those all-day loads. Here's the irony of this place. To get in here, I had to turn down Lover's Lane. So I'm picking up underwear from Lover's Lane. Va 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 boom. And this is one of those shippers where we have to uh, dolly down and then unhook and then uh, wait in a different location while they're loading it. So I'm going to disconnect the trailer. All right, I got my 28,000 pounds of underwear. It took them six hours to load. So I'm not going to get much driving in today. Well, we're filling up here at the Loves in uh, Nashville. I have history at this Loves, actually. When Loves bought this pilot, this very one on Trinity Lane, I was here the night that they changed it over. So we all went to sleep with it being a pilot. And then we woke up in the morning with it being a love, so... I get the cravings for a subway. It doesn't have one. I would have to walk across the street. <laughs> I think I can do that. <laughs> what is this person doing? I think they're on drugs. Or they're tourists. dog convention going on there. They got Arby's here. I'm not really thrilled about Arby's. Please don't write me about my squeaky chair. I haven't had time to... yet. Oh good, I don't even 
gonna have to back him. Well, I think we might have some storms tonight. <laughs> by this Schneider, he won't have a, uh, he won't be idling and he won't have a APU, so, but watch, he'll pull out and then two lawnmower men will pull in next to me. I've explained that so many times, I'm not going to tell you what that is. If you don't know what that is, and I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. All right, tomorrow this is what we have to do. Only 566 miles tomorrow. So I can do that easily. And I'll count that as roughly 10 hours. So if I leave it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, uh, we'll get there 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's my goal. You know, people have asked me before, what is idle air? And uh, I, I've answered several emails like... Uh, like that when people ask what idle air is. Well, you're looking at what idle air is. It's a way to bring cool or warm air to the inside of a truck. And it, it's a lot cheaper to use that than to idle your truck. Uh, that's what idle air is. And you see those big air conditioners on the top? That's what actually powers the uh, the, that big yellow tube that goes to the inside of the truck. So that's what idle air is and now I'm gonna go to sleep. So from Hurricane Mills here in Tennessee we will see you in the morning. I'm Indiana Jack. Hi, uh, you're watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack and all the way from Hong Kong and specifically the peak at the very top of Hong Kong. They are huge fans have a good day. Keep on trucking. Here in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. I had to think about where I was for a second. And I'm going to be rolling. Actually, we're going to be rolling. I'm going to turn on the Dave Nemo show, even though he's not on yet. So Tim Ridley would be on. around the truck. I even crawled underneath. Things look good there. So we just need to get rolling now. And I even got some coffee. So buckle your seat belts you guys. going to be hitting Memphis. I would venture to say every trucker that travels the Midwest or the East, they could probably do this trip in their sleep. Nashville, Memphis, Little Rock, Texas. I mean, it's like one of the busiest routes that there is. Thanks for the hospitality.
Vitality Loretta. See you next time. I can stop on the right hand side, I do. Only because it saves a few minutes from going across the freeway and then back over. The exception to that would be, as I've mentioned before, if there's a Loves on this side, I don't like their coffee, so I would cross the freeway and go to the other side for good coffee. Make a left turn, and then make a left turn. stuff for the truck and we're out of here in less than three minutes. I was timing myself. When it's raining like this there's pooling water you can see it on the road when a, like that motorhome that went by the water just splashed. Oh my gosh look at this guy. just cut me right off. Now, that's not something you should do on a rainy day like that, like this. If he would have hydroplaned in front of me, which is very likely, uh, he would have spun around right in front of me and probably died. What an absolute idiot. If you're merging on the freeway, we want you to speed up around us, but not like that. Not where you can't see. Like, I, there was no evidence of him coming. He just cut over, so he had no business doing that. He should have gone around from behind. Actually, Today, with the way the weather is, I'm glad I'm hauling underwear because it's the kind of day where you might need an extra pair. Well, we are in Linden, Texas. And finally the rain stopped. So we just have about another hundred miles and we'll be there. Be dropping off there and hopefully they'll have an empty and then we'll decide where we're going to go after that. I was trying to think of the name of the city we're going to. It's Jacksonville, Texas. And 
and uh, I've actually been there before. A little distribution center there. And I won't have too many hours after that, so I, I will only have like another hour after that. So hopefully that'll be enough time to make it to a safe haven for the night. That's an interesting peak. just like two lane and there are a lot of little starts and stops which really slow you down but 59 runs pretty good we're going to be turning right up here on 155 which I should call my friend Matt Spagna in one quarter mile make a right turn the expert on Texas. He always tells me what's a two lane and what's not. Samantha. I have to find YY131. Here it is. And uh, I don't I'm actually glad to get rid of this trailer because it dog legged right. And what that means is the rear end of the trailer stuck out about six inches to the right so it was hard to keep in the lane and what causes that is the uh, axles in the back sometimes get misaligned uh, sometimes it's that sometimes it's the fifth wheel but whatever the reason this time I don't have to worry about it uh, those kind of trailers just make it a little bit harder to maneuver when you're going down a straight line because that trailer keeps wanting to go off to the side so there's not any truck stops around here but i'm going to be bobtailing i could go wherever i want to it also means though it's a friday so now tomorrow being a saturday i'm gonna hunt, have to hunt around for an empty so Let's get out of this place and we'll go, uh, I guess we'll go to Texas Best Barbecue or Smokehouse. They're in Tyler, so we have to go back through Tyler 
which is a nightmare. The traffic through Tyler was just an absolute nightmare, but there's no place else to, to stop. So let's get out of here. I would choose to live in Tyler, Texas, just because they got a huge traffic problem. You know, they got a little loop running around their town. I don't know what it's like in the middle of the town, but... It's just too many people want to live in Texas, and I can understand that. I actually, I I wouldn't mind living here, but I would sure not like the traffic. Well, you know what they say: everything is bigger in Texas, even the dogs that guard. fireworks stand. That's one big dog, I'll tell you. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go to bed now, so I do want a little privacy, so from Tyler, Texas, I will see you guys in the morning. See you bright and early when it's like four o'clock in the morning. All right, well, we're on our way to find an empty uh, from Tyler, Texas. Now I'm in Dallas uh, searching for an empty, so hopefully I'll get one. I got a load going from here to Ohio, so hopefully we can, uh, Get an empty so we can get this picked up. Let's roll. We have so many new folks here watching. The reason I need an empty is because they didn't have an empty when I dropped off. So now I have to go find an empty to be able to put stuff in. So we have to drive around to some of our customers to find empty trailers. So. You're, if, uh, if you're new, that explains to you why I'm talking about having to go find an empty. In my segment of trucking, which is called drive-in, we don't just keep one trailer. We share trailers with customers so they can load them or unload them mile, make a right at turn. their leisure. In 700 feet, make a right turn. And I misspoke a minute ago. My load isn't picking up from here. I have to go down to Waco, Texas, which is a few hours from here, and get that on board. I don't know what it is. I, it might be some kind of, I don't know what it is. We'll see when I get there.
actually got our empty. And we're down here in Waco, Texas. You know, we've had quite a trip. The underwear trucker here. Man, we've, we've gone through buckets of water, lakes, rivers, oceans. And then down here to Texas where things are a bit more peaceful. And it's really been a good trip. And we're getting off right here at uh, exit 330. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. That really helps get uh, others involved in what we're doing here so they can find out if, if uh, you know, they can watch too. Have your friends. You always want to tell your friends about something good, right? At least I do. I always tell my friends and they don't they don't care. I don't mean about my stuff, but about something else. Really, Jack? <laughs> but it doesn't hurt to share. I just appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for riding along. I am Indiana Jack. We're going to close it down here in Waco, Texas. We will see you next time. Remember, trucking really is an adventure.